Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. Today's little tip is on a dishwasher. I'm going to show you a little something that's going to give you a little bit better results. And what do I mean? Well, here it is. When you first turn on, you know, I think the better thing is for me to show you. So let's head over and get started. Okay, here we are standing next to a dishwasher. And what I'm going to do is show you what's happening when you fill your dishwasher up. When you come to your sink, I'm sure that when you go to do hand wash dishes and filling your sink up with water, that you're filling it with hot water, which is what you should do. That's how you want to clean your dishes, with hot water. Okay, so what's going on with your dishwasher is that when it fills, it's pulling the water from the water heater all the way to the dishwasher. Now, depending on how far your water heater is from your dishwasher, that's going to tell you how long it's going to take for hot water to get to your dishwasher. So initially what's happening is that your dishwasher is filling with cold water. Now there is an element in there that comes on when the cycle comes on, but it's going to take that element quite a long time to, to heat up that water that's come into your dishwasher cold. So we're going to do a little experiment here and I'm going to see what the temperature of the water is when it fills initially just straight. And then we'll do another experiment, and I'll get to that in a moment. All right, so this is what we've done. I've hooked up a digital thermometer along with a little thermocoupler sensor that's going to go in there. And I've got it set to the bottom of the dishwasher so that it'll read the temperature of the water coming in. And I'll go ahead and close this. And I will start it on a wash. somewhere in here it's going to start to fill. As you can see the temperature inside the dishwasher is fluctuating between 62.9 and 63 degrees and it will start filling here shortly. We're definitely in a fill cycle now. started our wash now at 70, well it's fluctuating because it's bouncing in and out of there. But we finished the fill cycle and I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to let it settle down and let's see what our water temperature turns into being. Okay, so we're washing roughly at about 69 degrees. That's not too good. We definitely want to have hotter water than that. Okay, so we already know that our initial startup wash is between, let's say 68 and 70 degrees. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn the hot water on at the kitchen sink. And we're gonna let this get really good and hot. Let's see what kind of temperature reading we'll get if I just do a this bulb. On the hot water. Alright, I'm up to 110 degrees. 111. Alright, so it looks like 110 is going to be our average. We're holding them steady right at it. Okay, we've got good hot water here now. Now what I want to do, I've already drained the dishwasher of the water that was in there before, and I'm going to stick this probe back in here. And now let's see what kind of water temperature we've already we determined get. that we've got 110 degrees water at our water faucet here in the kitchen. So now I'm going to reinsert this probe into the dishwasher. Turn it on. 
Now I'll let it go into a fill cycle. And now we'll register what kind of temperature we get. And remember, it is filling right now. So as you can see, the water temperature is already up higher than it was on our initial fill. So we can see now that there is a difference in the water temperature as opposed to letting your dishwasher fill on its own cold or turning on the hot water at your kitchen faucet till it gets good and hot, go ahead and shut it off, turn your dishwasher on at that point, let it fill with hot water. I think that's going to help it perform a lot better. So I hope this is helpful to you. This is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.